Hey, Moon Magic, Super Souls, Beautiful Souls, welcome back if you are returning. Welcome if you are new to the channel, to the Moon Magic Tarot channel. I'm seeing your three cards showing themselves already. It's actually that one there. Okay, now we are drawing cards for three piles today. And this is a reading where I ask for an immediate message for you. And we also look to see if there's any guidance coming through for the next seven days. Um, I post these readings every Sunday. Thank you so, so much to those of you who follow the readings and give feedback through the comments. It's really great to hear that they, they're they helping you. I mean, that is the purpose of us putting readings out here. Any of us readers on YouTube, it is to reach those that need to hear those messages. You know, and we do offer ourselves in service to really assist at a time of well at the moment to be fair a time of monumental change and accelerated growth for humanity so let's look at pile one pile one you have the card of jupiter so this is the energy for pile one pile two we have calcification Calcinati calcinatio, I think that's how you pronounce it, calcinatio or calcinatio, calcification. This is for pile two. And for pile three, we have benevolent guide, spiritus rector. Okay, very beautiful cards. Look at the colours coming through today, wow. Okay, so these are our three cards. I am going to draw a rune and a charm for each of these readings as well. So let's see what we have for pile one. Pile one, your rune is Othilla. This is a rune of inheritance, of separation, of gain. And your charm, just going to bring in some little counters here so that we can... Um, so we can see the, see them quite clearly. Sometimes the camera doesn't focus on them if it's just on the card. Let's bring out a charm for you. We have a hanger. So this is for pile one. Okay. Pile two, you have the rune of... Mm, you've got three runes. Or pile for pile two. This is what is coming through. Pile two, you have Gibo, the rune of partnership. You have Manas, the rune of the self. And you have Isa, the rune of standstill. And let's put this here, this little counter here for your charms. You have... Hmm, there it is. Oh, it's like a tiny little bunch of grapes. Can you see that? Teensy weensy little bunch of grapes. That's the charm for pile two. Pile three, you have one rune straight away, Perth. This is the rune of initiation. And your charm. Oh, straight away. You have a horse. Okay, so purse, initiation, and a horse. So beautiful souls, these are your cards, your runes, your charms. Thank you so much for being here. It's such an honour to read for you. Now, um, I'm going to leave the camera running for a few moments longer. I know some of you like a little bit longer. Um, you can always press the pause button if you need even longer. The timestamps are in the description box below. There are also connections. I always list all the cards I'm using. If there's any cards I use throughout the readings and you want to find out what they are and have, another look, have a little bit more of a look at them, the links are there as well. Beautiful souls. Um, yeah, I will leave you with the cards, the runes and the charms. Take as long as you need and beautiful souls, just trust your intuition. I always say just sit with that, sit with the cards, you'll be guided, you know, trust your intuition and if you do start a reading and it's really not resonating, it may be, it may be that it's not the right reading for you. Um, it may just be that there are messages coming through for others but just Generally speaking, most people I think are guided to the reading they need to hear most, and sometimes it is more than one. Beautiful souls, tons of love. I will see you in the readings in just a moment.
Pile one, welcome to your reading. Jupiter is about uh, expansiveness, optimism, positivity. This is very interesting. Let me just make sure that camera is focusing properly for you. Othilla is interesting. This sometimes speaks about real property. If any of you are considering moving, this will be a message for some, but not for all. But actually, there could be something in this reading. Something is about to expand or move forwards because this sometimes indicates that you leave a property. And with the hanger here, I wonder if you find somewhere to hang your coat metaphorically. But let's draw your oracle cards and see what we are shown. I'm seeing that one showing up immediately for you. I'm feeling the one at the base of the pack. And I'm also seeing, no, that's not feeling right. <laughs> it's that one. Three of them were coming through and I wasn't sure which one it was. Okay, so we have these three. What else are we shown in your oracle cards? We have two from this pack. We have one. two and lastly we will draw a spirit animal guide there we go okay oh this is really interesting I've picked up the pack and the one at the base of the pack has stayed put I think this is for you as well okay we'll have a look at your oracle cards and then we will see where we go from there so you have seeing beyond Ears wide open. Oh, you've got three here. Look at this. All about opening. How fascinating. Look. How amazingly fascinating. I didn't realise you had three cards, but anyway, let's go with this. Seeing beyond, broken open and ears wide open. Okay. Now this I'm finding really interesting because Jupiter is very open, very expansive energy. We have a happy poppet. I am enough. We have seed of power, from tiny things, big things can grow. We have starfish, wishes, sensitivity. And we have toad, listening, secrecy. Okay, let's move these along. I think that's getting everything in, isn't it? How interesting. Then we have these three cards. Looking at this, this is really reminding me of the Six of Swords energy of someone moving forwards. I feel like you are moving forwards, but you may not know exactly either which way to go, or you may have taken a step towards something. Tiny things, from tiny things, big things can grow. Yeah, and we've got a pot here. She's brewing something here. And then we have a wise man. I think you're going to be guided through something here. Let's, let's look at more cards before we do any more or before we say any more. Let's draw your tarot cards. May we ask for an immediate message for pile one, please, and also potentially guidance for the coming week. An immediate message for pile one, please. Okay, we have the King of Cups, we have the Nine of Swords, oh wow, you've got two kings, okay, we have the King of Pentacles, and we have the Eight of Cups, okay, then we have the High Priestess and the Ten of Swords, where should we place these, hmm, let's move these up, I think we're going to... Bear with me, beautiful souls, while I move these down. I'm going to put those there and these at the top. I hope that's pretty good and everybody can see everything or pretty much see everything. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I think this is a week when you are going to take a step towards something. You're going to leave something behind and take a, a, a step towards something that you want. It's a wish that you want. Now, 
You may not be doing this openly, which is very interesting. Even though this is broken open, ears wide open, seeing beyond, we have listening, secrecy showing up here. Hmm. Pile one, I think that the next step towards something and it's a big, significant something, is going to be shown to you. Literally the step, the next step you need to take to move towards something, to, to um, literally to move towards something. Look at the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Cups. We see a figure moving towards something. The Ten of Swords traditionally says we leave something behind. Othilla, the rune of separation, of inheritance, of gain, says that we leave something behind in order to move to something that we desire, to have something we desire. Now, the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles showing up. There's a lot of empowerment. Bear with me, I'm just going to put these cards over here for a moment. Seeds of power. Listening, secrecy, ears wide open. I think something is to be gifted to you or shown to you or revealed to you that, that provides the next step towards something that you want. It, it opens up the pathway so you can see where you're going or you know with certainty. It would be like, for example, if you are wanting to move house, for example, because Othilla does relate to real property sometimes, if you were wanting to move house... I think some of you might have been looking in the area you're living in, but actually, I mean, this would suggest potentially even moving out of area or overseas. I'm seeing this boat. I'm seeing you travel. It's kind of like an opportunity shows up and it shows you where you're meant to be or the direction or the area you're meant to be going in. I don't think it's exactly the area where you thought you would be looking. So this is like having your ears wide open and seeing beyond the immediacy of your circumstances. So if you were thinking of moving in a particular direction and nothing seems to have been showing through. Now this could apply to house moving to a real to real property to real estate. It could apply to any area of your life. If you're not if you've been looking to move something forwards, I think you've been shown the next step to something and it's not the it's not exactly the route or the area that you thought you would be moving towards, but it shows you it breaks it open. It opens up another opportunity. It opens up an area that you hadn't actually been thinking about or you hadn't previously seen. It takes you out of the immediate realm of your perspective. So something in your world is about to be opened up. And it's taking you in the direction you're meant to be going in or the place you're meant to be. Seeds of power. From tiny things, big things can grow. It's going to give you agency as well, I think, with the combination of two kings. Interesting, we have a starfish here. And look at that, the starfish is in almost the exact same position as here. Now, this is an area that means something to you. It's something that matters. It has emotional meaning for you. This is not just like a factual thing or a, a project or a work thing that you're quite um, logical about. This is something that matters to you. It's something that will sing to the heart. Now, these cards actually have writing on the back, so I'm going to turn them over. Just connecting in with this, the energy of this image, though. Look at her with her hands outstretched. It's almost as though you surrender to, that the step is shown to you and you surrender to it. You're like, do you know what? There could be something in this, so I'm going to run with it. It's not what I thought I'd be doing. You could even have been working towards something in a different direction. And then suddenly it's like, whoa, I didn't think I'd be going in that direction, but hey, this looks really promising. This looks really important. You may keep it to yourself or it may be something you hear through the grapevine that literally sparks a 
a desire or an interest and you think, do you know what, that sounds really interesting, I'm going to go check that out. But you are shown something that takes you out of the immediacy of what you thought you were going to do or where you thought you were going to be or who you thought you were going to be with. And even though you can't see exactly the end result, you are prepared to trust and move towards it. It's significant enough for you to listen to it. It's got that feeling of potential, of expansion, of excitement. It's a seed. Somebody sows a seed in you or something sows a seed in you and it gives you that feeling of, do you know what? This is, this is a new direction. This, for some of you, it may even be out of your comfort zone. But this is something I actually want. This fe- it's one of those, it feels right. What does this say? Live your own authentic life with courage to be your true self. Renew your focus. Your life lessons will be repeated until their learned guidance is on the way. I love that. We have the High Priestess here. And then we have, reawaken your intuition, allow your emotions to ebb and flow like the cycle of nature's seasons. Okay, now I did say this is something that feels emotionally important for you. It may be that you not exactly go against the grain as such, that's perhaps not quite the right way of saying it, but it's something that you you feel, basically you feel this very deeply, so something is about to be shown to you, now for some of you, you may already see it, but you might be tussling with it a bit, because it's not the, lo- it's not the logical way forwards perhaps, or it's, as I said, it's not what you thought you would be doing. Let's get some more information. I, I want to know a bit more about this nine of, nine of Swords here. Could we have a little bit more guidance about the Nine of Swords? With two cards coming through already. How interesting. You've got the Three of Swords and you've got the Ten of Cups. Okay. This is really rather fascinating. Let me move those down. I'm trying to work out how to put all your cards up so we can see them all. I'll pop these over here. Okay. So, Nine of Swords. We, to have the Ten of Cups is fabulous. I do think it, it breaks something open. It takes you away from something. Not only is it a step towards something, but it takes you away from something that has been a challenge for you. This feels exciting. Look at the Ten of Cups showing up here. And these two kings, empowerment, seeds of power. From tiny things, big things can grow. This could even, for some of you, be like one of those really chance meetings. You know when you step out of the door, I don't know, you could be heading off to the local supermarket just to pick up a pint of milk or something. And then you suddenly end up having a conversation at the checkout with someone while you're queuing and waiting. And that conversation sparks something for you. It takes you in a whole new direction. It opens up a space of possibility and you think, do you know what? That could be really, really, really right for me. And it it suddenly changes something within you so that you can real, it's like you are realigning with your intuition. Something in you says, this could be really good for me. And you're right. And it moves you away from something that has been either troubling or feeling stuck. It is definitely a place to sort of to hang your coat, I think. It's taking you in a direction. I also want to say, this is purely a message that's coming through for some and not all, but if there is any element of relationship around you where you've experienced a disappointment or some heartache, I think something will come along that will... I think what came through here was you have to kiss kiss a lot of toads before you find your prince. Um, or princess but you know this is whatever non-gender specific I just think that something comes along that validates you or and that in itself opens up a pathway of possibility something is coming into your world that is taking you in a new direction 
The end goal may be what you wanted all along. It's expanding a dream, a desire, a wish. It's expanding something that you really want and desire. But it's showing you the next step to this pathway of fulfilment. Don't hold on to the past, Four of Pentacles. I'm seeing her clinging to something. Don't hold on to old ways of doing, thinking, being, staying with anything. Gosh, it says an opportunity for you to move. Real property is coming through again. If there is an opportunity for you to move rather than, I don't know, almost maybe, um, I don't know, if you if you have a, like, a, like re, rather than renewing a lease, this would be sort of, and there's a possibility of something else. I'd be looking at the possibility of something else, if I'm honest, that that's what this reading seems to be showing. It might feel like, whoa, I'm launching into the unknown. But you know what? Your intuition is going to guide you. You will be guided. Your guides, your angels are going to show up for you. May we get information now about how the week might pan out. So I, I think your first message is really key um, and it's very clear. The immediate message you're meant to hear is that something is to be shown to you. It will take you potentially in some, or, or it's a step towards a direction that you're meant to be going in, but it will be different to the way that you thought you wanted to or different to, it certainly could take you on a different pathway. The end goal is the same. You're going to get the end goal that you want, but it will take you there if on, on it's like taking a different route to your final destination let's ask about the week ahead so we have the page of cups how interesting we then have the ten of wands look at you packing up and leaving <laughs> wow okay let's pick these cards up how interesting wow Okay, so I want to say run with this. This is what I want to say. Even though you may not know how it's going to pan out, take a risk, run with it, invest in it. Choose to let it expand. You've got the card of success, the card of visibility. You've got the five of swords, which suggests there's a bit of a headache going on here. But I think you're leaving that behind. This is a dream come true with the Page of Cups. This is the pigs might fly. This is you being lifted out of a current situation where you are feeling burdened or held back or you're carrying too much responsibility. For some of you, this is a separation from a sense of obligation or responsibility to something. And this is taking you away from that headache and taking you towards the goal and the success and the desire and the dream that is right for you, something that really matters to you. But there's something you leave behind in order to take that pathway forwards. And for some of you, I, I do think for all of you, it feels like a dream come true, but there may be some kind of an obligation here. Something that's kind of holding you back a little bit, which is why we have the Four of Pentacles showing up, saying don't cling to the past. Don't cling to any sense of obligation. This is, this is taking you, it's bringing you home to yourself above and beyond anything with the hanger. I feel like the coat, it's, it's like the, you can put on the coat that you're meant to wear, metaphorically, as opposed to maybe one that you've been wearing it's like shedding a skin othilla actually does refer to this as well like a snake shedding its skin maybe there is a coat you've been wearing that is no longer applicable for you to wear it and it's time to shake that off to release that skin and to move forwards okay let's ask for the flow of the energy this week i mean i did ask for that and it looks to me as if this opportunity comes in pretty early and I think you can leave behind the burden of responsibility and step into kind of like your own ownership, your own empowerment, your own agency. What is the listening and secrecy about? So let's get some information about that. What is that about? Judgment. Yeah, I do think you'll probably want to make this decision privately. Interestingly enough, you might not want to advertise it. 
Okay, this is a card of visibility. Yeah, I actually think that you might not want to advertise your decision just yet. Uh, you might not want to bring it right out into the open, breaking open. You might want to keep it out of the way of prying ears, actually. Make your choices and decisions. This might be one of those scenarios where if it's an opportunity, you might want to wait until you've actually signed on the dotted line before you declare it. You might want to go, again, go and check it out. Rather than sitting in this zone of, do you know, I don't really know whether I should do this or not. What do I do? Check it out. Check it out this week. If something comes through for you, check it out straight away. Have a look at it. Go, go see it because I think it's going to open something up for you. Go and see it. Go and check it out. You don't have to tell everybody that you're checking it out. Go check it out first. But what it's doing is opening a pathway of possibility for you. And that is really crucial. There's something that's being opened for you that you are kind of... It's paving the way for a pathway ahead. Let's just draw a few more cards to see what else we are shown. Can we have any further clarification for this week? Go and check it out. Queen of Cups. King of Wands. You're going to love this. We have Page of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles. Um, this is actually a gift, this opportunity. It really is. It's leading to a really significant beginning that is loaded with promise with the Page of Pentacles. It's giving you your own agency. This would be like if you were still, for example, living at home or living in a shared property, for example, and someone offers you the potential to move out uh, for your own place or indeed to move to a different area or something like that. There's something different coming in and go check it out. You know, the people you live with might prefer you to stay in the shared house, but actually maybe it's time for you to move on. Go check it out before you make a decision, but go and discover rather than thinking, oh, but I'm quite used to this. You know, why would I want to move out? This kind of works. It kind of works, but it's, you know, maybe there, there is more here. You are actually being guided and given an opportunity here that is so loaded with potential. It's kind of not just what you do, that step towards this. It's what comes from that as well. What can then be built? What can then expand? It is literally like sowing a seed. From tiny things, big things can grow. And also trust that you really can make this choice. If there's any sense of obligation or duty around you, then I would be really considering not holding on to something because of obligation or duty. There'll be a way of navigating this. What's important is to check out the opportunities and feel your way into it. You know, you can make and then you can make choices and decisions. What's being offered to you is actually an opening and it will enable you to rise and to be released from something that actually is beginning to feel or maybe has been feeling for a while to be burdensome and not OK. So actually something is being gifted to you to take you. I think the end goal, as I said, is the same. The, your end desire or end goal is the same, but it's taking you on a different route. And I think the shape of it will be different when you get there. This is your reading pile one. We are seeing something I think happen quite quickly. It may even be right around you already, you know, given that this is the first card when we looked at the week ahead. So it may be in front of you already. You may already be deliberating. Should I, shouldn't I? Debating with yourself. Um, gosh, you know, do I, don't I? This is suggesting don't hang on to um, stability, interestingly enough, or it's something that you... Don't hang on to anything that feels fixed. It's time to actually consider new territory here. So beautiful souls, yeah, shedding that skin, wearing a new coat, wearing new colours, whatever that metaphorically means for you. Um, 
pile one keep us pasted let us know in the comments um if this is resonating with you let us know in the comments and yes if it's appropriate given the secrecy element you know keep us updated let us know um how things pan out it may be that you don't want to post just yet or you might post in a couple of weeks time if you're following these uh, sunday readings i post a couple of other readings pick a card readings usually on a tuesday and a friday and always this these ones on sundays and um, and various other shorts and conversations and all sorts of stuff in between um but yeah wow keep us posted it is wonderful to hear from you in the comments and thank you so much to all of you who do comment and all of you who give back through the super thanks as well and just thank you all for being here tons of love thank you as always for liking sharing subscribing and all the things you do that support the channel tons of love pile one Pile two, welcome to your reading, beautiful souls. I'm rather fascinated by your combination of runes and your charm, this little bunch of grapes, which suggests some kind of harvest. Something's coming to bear fruit. Now, calcinatio, calcification. This is a card that suggests something is transforming it's a very fiery energy as you can see by the colors and gibo is the rune of partnership of relationships manas is your relationship with yourself isa interesting we've got fire and ice i wonder if something is going to come to melt the ice within you because if you think about it fiery emotions they can be absolutely mind-blowingly amazing or they can feel very destructive you know anger is a very fiery emotion but it's not particularly helpful when people lash out and indeed it's out and out destructive sometimes on the other hand passion desire when channeled the energy of that fire can really you know create monumental change and fuel so much energy and motivation Hmm, let's draw your cards. What is the message that's coming through for you today? My beautiful, beautiful pile twos. What is coming through for my pile twos? And may we please request information potentially about the coming week. This is very interesting. Even in your first few cards, we'll draw more first, but you have like a little baby bunny here and then a grown up hair and a cup. It's like the golden chalice. It makes me think about the cups in the tarot of love. I will read what's on the back of these cards in a moment. Let's draw more cards for you, first of all, your oracle cards. But I feel like something comes to... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, comes of age. That's what I'm looking for. That That's that saying, isn't it? When something comes of age. Okay. One, two, and... we go it's that one i'm seeing that one too you've got four from this pack that wasn't my intention but then i don't really set an intention around the cards that come through they just come through what else are we shown here for you my lovely pile twos what is the message that is coming through for my pile twos this week and what are they being shown for the week ahead. Let's look at your oracle cards first and then we'll draw tarot cards too. So we have Roots of Abundance. Mm. Beyond the Ordinary. Oh, this is really exciting. Close Encounters and the Storyteller. Okay, we have Send a Letter to the Universe, The World Loves Me. We have Moon Wishes, oh wow. My goodness me. Um, okay, this is really profound. Okay, we've got the storyteller. We have the starfish. Wishes, sensitivity. We've, this is just showing up to do with wishes for you. Wishes that you can ask for. or a, I think a wish is going to come true. Okay, now I don't know what that will be. Or you can certainly send a wish out into the universe that you're being asked Mm, you're being asked to send a really a big wish out into the universe. You may already have sent one. But this is an opportunity. There's an opportunity here to rewrite your story. 
This is very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay, let's put the cup. I'm now going to read these cards. This says, Reconnect to mother's na Mother Nature's world of plenty and you shall receive a myriad of miracles. How interesting that this tree sits next to this tree, Roots of Abundance. We have heal through changing your story. Wow, yep, rewriting your story. Begin in this moment, don't look back. Oh my goodness me. Well, you couldn't write it, could you? And then we have life will support the vision you have for yourself. Make it the best it can be. Wow. Okay, um, beautiful souls. This is a very profound week for you. It really, really is. If you have been experiencing any kind of frustration, any kind of, oh, why isn't it happening? Why hasn't it emerged? Why hasn't it, why haven't I manifested this? I've asked for it, I've wished for it, and there's a frustration. It is time to harness the energy and the power of your emotions. And this is a week to put your wish, your dream, your desire and big dreams, big wishes out into the universe. Let me just make sure that camera is focusing for you. I hope that is giving you a really clear picture of the cards. I hope so anyway. It doesn't look very clear on my screen. Let me press the pause button and see if I can adjust that. Okay, I hope that's clear, but before I say any more, I'm actually going to draw your tarot cards. I am mega excited for you. Mega, mega, mega excited for you. I'm feeling the card on the... that one is coming through. I'm feeling the card on the base, and this one on the top is showing itself, and this one, and this one, and this one. Right, we may draw more. We will see. What are we being shown for pile two? We have the moon again. Okay, we have the five of pentacles. Look at the key. Look at these keys showing up here. We have the six of pentacles. We have the nine of wands. Okay, this is very exciting. This is a really exciting week for you. Really exciting. Now... Six of Pentacles being gifted something. Something that is a key to rewriting your future. A door is being opened for you. A door that will take you beyond the ordinary or take your dreams, your wishes beyond the ordinary. That takes your ambitions, I want to say, with the energy of calcification. Because this is, this is a card that talks about transformation. It's like um, when the heat is so strong, it can melt a rock. So we think of, when we think of something like a stone, you know, that stone is solid. It is absolutely solid. But, you know, if the heat, when we think of the internal heat of the earth right in the centre of the earth, that bubbling lava, it's hot enough to melt a stone, to melt ice. Wow. I'm getting several messages that are coming through. Now, this is a general reading, so it's going to reach more than... It's reaching several people. It's going to reach a few people. So we know that. That's what we're here for, to pass messages on. So I'm just going to bring through some of the messages that are arriving. If one of them is not resonating with you, please hold fast and listen to them all in case one is. It means that, that a message then isn't just for somebody else. But, right, I just want to say relationship-wise, if you have been really, really unable to sort of unlock a close connection with somebody, a, a passionate connection that can really take you beyond the ordinary. If you have struggled in relationship, if you have, you know, travelled to the depths and beyond in your search for the right person, I think this could be the point, it's almost like the Ace of Cups here, when something opens up, your dreams are fulfilled. Someone arrives in your world with a passion and it melts the ice. You know, it can literally melt, the passion of this can melt, turn, can melt a stone, it can, it can melt the ice. It's fruitful. So whatever abundance means for you, if abundance for you would be love, if that's your wish, and you've been through so many obstacles and hurdles looking for this, and you felt like every time you opened a door it got closed, this is a, a connection that will rewrite your story, okay? The moon shows me patience. 
Okay, you've waited for this. You have waited for this. You may well have set new moon wishes and intentions for years looking for the right person. And I think this is what this is about. Now, that's just one scenario and one message coming through. If this is not about love and intimacy, if this is about something else, something is to be gifted to you. There it's, something is coming in. It is literally unlocking a door. What, what is across the board here is that something is, a, a doorway is being unfolded to let you, to free you from a cage of self-doubt or a cage of not another hurdle, will this ever happen to me, to a place where this can, this is taking you beyond the ordinary. I do think it does connect to largely a partnership, a connection. It could be a collaboration. It could be a business partnership. It could be a connection in community. But it's going to help you. It's going to transform your story in the future. Now, we also have the Five of Swords. We have the Eight of Wands. So this is happening quite fast. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Hermit. And we also have the Ten of Swords. I want some clarification on this one. Five of Swords. Let me move these along. Okay, I think if going back to love, if you've been going it alone, this will take you away from that. It will liberate you from those, the stuff in your head that said this might never happen to me. That is coming through for some of you. It's happening fast and with passion. There is passion here. There is a spark. I mean, look at the fireworks. This is a dream come true. Now, if this is not love, if this is not love, then this could be a partnership, a business partnership that would be a dream. You would be able to work together. You'd be able to overcome any hurdle because it's like the um, you're singing on the same page. If you have been really going it alone, if you've been a bit of a one-man band... I think this is transforming for you. Let's get additional cards. Maybe we have additional cards just around. Kind of want to get cards around the Five of Swords just to check in on this and make sure I'm tuning in with this in the right way. Yeah, this would be an ending, Three of Swords, an ending of your broken heart. It's a time to... Oh, yeah, look at this. How fascinating. Do you know both of these cards came out in Pile 1? literally together like this so if you were drawn to pile one i would encourage you to check it out three of swords and ten of cups together so what this is showing us i mean the three of swords is a card of a broken heart but it's like that can be released that can melt the passion can return look at the ten of cups this is so beautiful to have this collaboration here this takes you away from self-doubt this stops you from, it, it brings you back into that place of, of, pos, of possibility. Excuse me, it's not interesting, I almost took my breath away as I was speaking. I wonder if that is really an indication, like this will take your breath away. If you have struggled in a working environment to get something off the ground, and every time you've tried to, it felt like a door closed rather than a door opened... This is taking you. This is a connection that is going to take you, a, par a partnership, a collaboration that is going to take you away from any kind of heartache or a place of lack where you don't feel that you can find the right people to help you. Wishes, sensitivity. This is, this is something that matters to you. I do think it does largely connect to potentially another person. Now, in reality, this could also connect with perhaps your calling, your purpose and your relationship with spirit, with source. Because this is taking you beyond the ordinary, so it could be a connection that opens up doorways. You follow your calling and you rewrite your you rewrite where you're going. 
But I do, it, it's definitely in relationship, it's in partnership. So it could be partnership with the divine. But partnership is coming through, it melts the ice. Everything that has been stuck, everything that has been at a standstill, moves forwards magnificently. Let's get some more detailed information about how the week pans out. It looks to me as if this is happening very quickly, so it may be that it's around you already. You may already be connecting in with someone and you're thinking, wow, this is, you know, this, this is, is this full of possibility? This is, this is what I want. I want to pursue this. So let's check this out. How is the week panning out for my pile twos? Look at that two of cups and the, oh my goodness me, and the star. You couldn't write it, could you? I can't believe the, the signs, the synchronicities coming through in your reading pile two. It's, it's massive, isn't it? It's just massive. Look at that collaboration. It is a partnership of some sort. This reading is about partnership, whether that is finding the best friend ever, whether it's finding that lover, that partner, that soulmate, whether it's finding the business partner, the business relationship that you have been looking for, whether it is your relationship with source, with spirit, with the divine that is going to take you on, you know, on the route to your calling, and bring you the abundance you desire through that. This is, it's like, the, this is a, a turning point in your story, literally. If we think of um, his, his story, history as being, you know, this is our story, this is the history, this is the turning point in your history. When a new chapter is being written, you rewrite your story. You have the card of hope. How amazing is that? And this wonderful bunch of grapes. Let's just draw a few more cards as a sort of an affirmation, really, pile two. I don't think we need to put in too much more here. Okay. Maybe we have a few more cards, just an affirmation or a vision of where this is going, potentially, perhaps. Any other information and guidance that might come through. Okay. Let's have a look. We have... Well, the one that has shown itself that flipped over for us to see is the Nine of, of Pentacles, which is a card of genuine satisfaction, which is lovely. We then have, okay, we have the Nine of Swords. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Death card and we have the Justice card. Okay, I think this is going to end... Interestingly enough, I think it will end a period for some of you of indecision and potentially even procrastination. If you haven't been motivated, if there have been choices but you've been sluggish about them or you've just been feeling frustrated but, you know, those feelings have been locked in. What this does is it releases those feelings and it enables you to channel that energy into... And the most amazing direction. I'm really reminded, somebody told me that, um, uh, and this is just a quote, um, it, was, it was a quote of Elon Musk, and he said that his periods of greatest productivity come when he is in love. I've never forgotten it, because I, I, I think because I could relate to it. I think when you are in love, you know, it's like your energy levels are turbocharged. You can do 10 times more. We see it in, um, in new mums sometimes, you know. And my goodness me, you know, they've just had a baby. They're multitasking. Some of them have got families already and young children. And my goodness me, they juggle and handle it all. It's like the energy, the, the fired up energy is just of commitment, of dedication, of passion, it's all about passion, is so there. This is about you becoming ignited by a connection. And any procrastination is shelved. It opens up choices, but yeah, I think, I think if you have deliberated, do I, don't I? This is a choice that you make, you can, it rewrites your story. Some of you will already know what this is. Others, it may just be that it's, you, you might even be feeling it in the air. That's what I feel like as I'm sitting in your energy. But this is life-changing. 
It really is with the death card. And I kind of want to say it with the justice card, it sort of feels like almost, I, I'm going to say for some of you, like it's high time. You've been waiting for this for a while. You've been sending letters to the universe for quite some time. The moon has really, you know, shown you patience. You've had to be patient for this to come. And now it does. So that's fantastic. Um, at last. Um, I think this also indicates... Um, that it's, this is worthy of making a commitment to this pathway, this connection. It's definitely a connection. It's definitely, that's what we're seeing here. Wow, pile two, whatever this is, um, keep us posted. Let us know what this connection is. If it's not right in front of you and it unfolds in the week, do come back and comment. It would be amazing to hear what is happening in your world and how something is now coming to fruition, literally from like a little baby hair, and we have this, what felt like an ace of cups here. And then we have the two of cups to a fully grown hair. Something is going to take off. Rewrite your story. But it comes through a partnership. That's what we are seeing. Wow. Gosh, you, I don't think your world is going to be the same again. In the best possible way. I really, really don't. Um, wow. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Tons of love, Pile 2. Thank you so, so much, all of you who do comment. It is wonderful to hear from you. Thank you, all of you who give back through the super thanks in the comments. And thank you, obviously, for all of you who like and share and subscribe and all the things you do that support the channel. Tons of love, beautiful souls. I look forward to seeing you again for another reading here really, really soon. Pile three, welcome to your reading. The energy of your reading, excuse the pun with the B here, but it is just buzzing, literally just buzzing. Now, benevolent guide, spiritus rector. This card kind of almost says you can't go wrong, really. And now, you may not be feeling that because it often indicates that maybe we've slid into a place of, of self-doubt or we're wondering how we're going to do something or we feel like we're on, we're on our own and there's no support and who do we turn to. And this card literally says, you know, just press the pause button now and look back across your life and think about those key moments when you were guided you were shown something, you followed it through. Something is unfolding here and fast, I would say, with the horse. And there's empowerment here with the horse. Horses are about power. So let's dive straight into your cards before we say or do any more. And then we will see where we go with this. Wow. Okay, so those are your first three cards. Now these cards have messages on the back. Gosh, I'm seeing leadership with the stag here. Hmm, I'm seeing you being your authentic self as well. And something unfolding swiftly with the swifts here above her head. But before I read what's on the back of these cards, I'm going to draw the rest of your oracle cards. May we please ask for guidance and immediate message for my beautiful pile threes. We have three cards there. And... We will be asking about the week ahead as well, how the, how the week might unfold for you. I'm seeing this one and also this one. How might the week unfold as well? Can we have a message, an immediate message for my beautiful pile threes, please? I'm seeing this one as well. Okay, let's look at your oracle cards first. Put these to one side. Sacred reverence. And look at the key held here in this heart. And a lot of earth energy around this card as well. Broken open. This card came out in pile one. Earth magic. I said there's a lot of earth energy around you. Wow. And of course, bees are so connected to the earth, to our survival. In fact, our very survival on the earth. Let's move this along. We have... Bake magic cookies. I can give good things to myself and others. Time capsule. I have the confidence to be myself. We have bat transformation. And we have owl vision silence. Okay. I think this is very, very interesting. Bake magic cookies. <laughs> okay. I have the confidence to be myself Okay, there is a lot of earth energy around you. 
uh, what I'm seeing it with the earth energy is that um, you're in a place where something can be moved forwards opened up literally like a, a transitionary period can come to an end and you are being you're not on your own in any way shape or form you're being guided time capsule the timing is actually right I have the confidence to be myself the timing is right for you to open up in some way to come out of a period of transition and to, to open up And in a very humble way, this isn't just about, hmm, the hum humbleness is coming through here with the earth energy. There's a key here. What else have we shown? Have faith in yourself and higher powers. They lead you in dark times, even when you feel you've lost guidance. Very interesting, because that's pretty much the same message that we get with Benevolent Guide. I'm just going to read it again. Have faith in yourself and in higher powers. They lead you in dark times, even when you feel you've lost guidance. The owl. Owl see in the dark. Honour your commitments. Be loyal to your soul's longings. This is where you will find joy. And surrender yourself to the flow of life and see how you can influence your future keep moving forwards and your life's purpose will manifest okay i wonder if you are my lovely pile threes having a wobble and this is really an affirmation that you don't need to you cannot go wrong at the moment really you are being honoured, you know, every time you have a moment where you're not sure what to do, if you get still, you'll be given a key, a sign, a symbol, a synchronicity, the way will be shown to you, it will be broken open. You're, you're in a process of manifestation here. It's like a treasure trove of potential here. You're cooking something. Something is in your cooking pot, your manifestation cooking pot. And you are absolutely going to be given the key to, to what you need to do at every step of the way. I do get the impression you're having a wobble. Because because you're not there yet. But the, a period of transition, I think, is coming to an end. But right now, you may be feeling like you're in the dark a little bit here with this. That's what I feel. Let's, let's put these cards to one side and draw your tarot cards. What else are we being shown here? I'm sorry you're feeling a little bit like you're in the dark or you're not quite sure what to do. And if that is not resonating with you, then you, you can wait and see if other messages come through. Or, um, you know, it may not be the right reading for you. Let's see what else we are having here. I'm seeing this and this and this. It's that one as well. What are we shown for my pile three? The Empress. Yeah, something is in your treasure trove of manifestation. We have the Three of Swords and the Moon. Yeah, so I, I think... I do think, yes, I do think you've had some ups and downs with this in terms of what you are manifesting. Let's say you're manifesting something. We have the Page of Pentacles. And whatever it is you're manifesting, I sort of feel from the perspective of the universe and divine timing, you know, it's kind of, it's in progress, okay? It's, it's definitely in progress. It's kind of like the bun is in the oven, really, <laughs> literally, yeah. You, but you've had some disappointments, You've had some disappointments, you've had some setbacks, you've had some hurdles, you've you've had to climb quite a lot of hurdles. But I think I think the place you're in, really, you're being asked to persevere basically here with the five of wands. You know, don't give up, persevere, keep going, keep on climbing. Because you're gonna to get to the end goal, and I don't think the end goal is that far away. Because benevolent guide says, you know, you can't go wrong here. I think this is going to manifest in real terms. I think the key will be given to you to open that magical door. 
You're going to transform. Whether this is you rebirthing or something you're working on is birthed into the world, everything in your reading is saying, keep going. Don't be glum or down or despondent. It's understandable to feel that way. But actually, you're in a period of transition. Literally, the bun is in the oven, the treasure is in the trove, or the chest. Yes, have faith in yourself and higher powers. They lead you in dark times, even when you feel you've lost guidance. You are being guided, beautiful souls. You may not feel it, but you are being guided. Honour your commitments. You see, keep going. Be loyal to your soul's longings. This is something you want. Surrender yourself to the flow of life and see how you can influence your future. Keep moving forwards and your life's purpose will manifest. I, th I think there is something. You will know what this is for you because it's really important to you. It's something you are manifesting. It could be a project you're working on. It could be whatever it is. But I think you need to keep going. This is the biggest message of your reading. Keep going. You are being guided persevere you are in a period of transition it's going to come the horse is moving forwards it's going to come you know for sure you've had some setbacks you know you've climbed a few ladders but they ended up not being ladders they were snakes but isn't it interesting that we have this card of the snakes and the ladders and here we see you climbing a ladder this is a time to step up, not down. Success is really close to you. Success is coming. Keep going, beautiful one. Keep going. This is what your, your reading is all about. Don't stop. Keep going. The magic is around you. This will manifest. Whatever you are working on manifesting, it will manifest. This is your biggest and clearest message. But let's get extra detail for you. Let's see if we can ask. So how, what is the best question to ask for you, beautiful souls? Let's ask about the week ahead. What do we see happening in the week ahead? Okay, these cards have just shown themselves as they are. So we have temperance. Okay. We have the page of wands. And we have the Six of Swords. How interesting. So, temperance. Things are going to come back into balance. You know, I, I think maybe your energy levels, for some of you, may have been swinging or, or feeling lower. Things are coming back into balance and you're going to start to feel revitalised. Whereas at the moment you may have been sort of like trying to make what I would call steady progress with the page of pentacles. And, and it's as if you know that what you are wanting is loaded with promise and possibility. But there have definitely been some setbacks and I, that's what I see. There's been some setbacks. You've had a go at some things. They haven't worked out. You've climbed the ladder. It turned out to be a snake. There have been some setbacks. But if you look at those scenarios... Each of them, in many ways, was teaching you something, or it just simply, it wasn't the right option for you. So you were being guided, I think, pretty quickly to sort of almost return to a place of kind of stillness, where, because because if we have things, if we keep going with things that aren't working, then they're in the way of us being able to invite what we do want into our lives. Let me just make sure that camera is focusing for you. Turn the light on a little bit more. Hopefully that's good for you. Now, it kind of makes me think about, I had a conversation with someone um, just the other day, um, and I can voice it without um, breaching any form of confidentiality. In fact, I know that person will be thrilled that I share this with, with you all. And she had had a really, really, a big disappointment in relationship, you know. And this had happened a couple of times in a row. She had had the courage to join a dating site and, you know, she then met one person who she just thought it felt really good and then it turned out to be a major disappointment and then she met another person and it turned out to be another major disappointment, just not singing on the same page. And, and she started to get really despondent and we kind of had this conversation really about 
you know, that the despondency, you know, may, maybe they, these people were being shown to her pretty quickly that, that there wasn't a resonance. They weren't singing on the same page. They, they weren't right for each other. And rather than viewing it as a disappointment and going into a space of despondency, that this was the universe's way, source, spirit's way of helping to sharpen what she did want and making really clear choices and decisions about what she wants and what she doesn't want. And actually these people were showing up to help to consolidate her perspective and her energy and her vision and also moving out very quickly as it were or exiting you know parting company effectively exiting each other's worlds because if you because you don't want to be hanging on to somebody who isn't right because actually that's going to get in the way of your receivership of someone who is we kind of had that conversation and I feel that's the energy here today you know, good things are coming and you can give good things to yourself as well as others. Good things are coming your way. I think it is really just a question of time. And this is a week when you can bring yourself back into balance, re-energize your desires. If you think of, um, and, and look for guidance, if you think of uh, when we experience something that we don't want, if you think of that as a contrasting experience, you can then send a rocket of desire out into the universe, asking for the opposite of what you got that you didn't want. Now, you are going through a, a space of transition, so it's really important to be able to hold your vision and to yeah work through any disappointments because you are going to be guided. Six of Swords is a card where we are very much able to begin to look ahead. This particular Six of Swords I think is interesting because it kind of shows you in a way you don't have to be looking ahead and you are simply going to be guided here. Now let's check out some more information. What is coming for my pile three? Because this is a transitionary period. You know, what is going to be emerging? If my pile three can hold that vision, hold that energy, what is emerging? We have the moon. So we've got the moon showing up again. Okay. We have the world. And we have the four of wands, which is a card of commitment, a card of celebration. Mm. This is about rising out, using your experiences as a learning curve, rising above the energy of despondency, recognizing that you are in a space of manifestation and you are being supported. This card is so unbelievably positive. It literally says you can't lose. You, every choice you make is going to be the right one. So every choice when you say no to something, you're actually saying yes to what you do want. You, you can't really go wrong with this card. This is a card of commitment. It's a card of joy. Sometimes it's a card of an engagement. So something turns here. Something shifts here. Let's ask for more information about this week, please. We have the King of Pentacles. Feeling this card on the base. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Again, actually, I'm, how interesting I feel like I'm bringing the cards out from the base, from what, from bringing something up from underneath so you can see it. Maybe bringing up something from the depths so you can see it clearly. We have the Seven of Wands. Yeah, I'm taking the card from the base again. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Whatever disappointment... Whatever you thought was a ladder and it turned out to be a snake, whatever that was for you, because I think there's some relatively recent history going on where something has happened. This reading is really acknowledging and asking you to lean into the learning of that and to hold your vibration and your focus. And it's really reassuring you that what you desire is coming to you. You know, draw a line under what you have experienced, see it for what it is with the owl energy. Simply see it for what it is. Okay, same with the moon. See it for what it is. Recognise if your buttons were pressed. If you're clinging to something or going over and over something, why didn't it work out? It's not because of you. It didn't work out because it wasn't meant to be. So actually, let's just accept that that's part of the learning curve and move along here. 
the world. It's time to complete and start afresh with renewed commitment. We then have the King of Pentacles, which is really a card of abundance. You know, in traditional packs, this is often depicted as King Midas. Midas was granted wishes. He actually, of course, wished that um, in, this, in the story, in the mythology, he actually asked that everything he touched be turned to gold, which was a bit of a bad wish, really, because, of course, everything that he touched, like, you know, his food turned to gold and the people he loved turned to gold, which was not helpful. So he had to go back and have another wish and change it all. But the point is, he was able to do that. So that was great. He could turn everybody else. He could turn all the gold people back into the people he loved. Um, he learned, but the point is he learned from his lesson. He'd made a wish, he'd put something out into the universe. It, it came in and it wasn't what he actually wanted. So he had to realign his wishes and ask with much greater clarity. But the only way we learn to ask with greater clarity is when we get something that isn't what we really want. So, beautiful souls, this is about aligning with greater clarity and putting re, re, reaffirming what you actually do want because you've learned from what you don't. It doesn't have to be a conflict of interest here. It really is about you centering yourself in a space of um, knowing what you want, literally knowing what you want and putting it out there and actually being grateful for the learning. This is a card of gratitude, the Six of Pentacles. So knowing, um, yeah, being grateful for the learning rather than rather than sitting in in a space of conflict over this or doing battle over he said she said they said you know just don't thank everyone you know for the learning and sit in a space of openness to receive and absolutely opening yourself for guidance that is what we're being shown. What, what may we ask for more information about the coming week? Okay, so we have the three of pentacles, which would suggest some collaboration and some help coming in for you. We have the star. How beautiful. And we have the empress, which is a card of abundance, of, of joy, of happiness, of, of something coming to fruition. Plus we have the horse, which happens to be quite a fast, empowering energy. Okay, I think um, reach out and ask for help is, is the gist of this. As you enter this week, at any time, if your mind wanders into the territory of going over something, ask for help. If you need reassurance, ask for a sign. Ask because you, n none of your choices have been wrong. All of them have led you to be who you are and where you are today. And that is what is going to manifest the ultimate dream that you are trying to manifest and you're trying to bring forth. And it's cooking. The bun is in the oven. This is happening. You know, this will come to fruition. The Empress is a card of pregnancy, of birth, of abundance. So beautiful souls. Get back on track. Reach out and ask for help, whether you ask for help from spirit, from source, from your team, because that's what this is about, or you simply ask, reach out and ask a friend. It may be that help comes through your friends or your community or um, colleagues, you know, with the three of pentacles, but assistance will come to you. And if you ask then signs will be shown. This is a week to get back on track, knowing that you are in a place of transition and the thing that you desire or are manifesting is going to emerge. And yes, there have been some disappointments, that's for sure. And I, you know, I'm truly sorry that that happens. But you know, here you have the Empress twice. Look at this. You know, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. Your manifestation, your dream, the thing you really want is going to happen. You know, you needed to see some things clearly in order to wish with greater clarity. There was purpose to these disappointments. And now it's time to get very clear and open yourself to the signs and the signals and the choices that will bring you the happiness that you really desire here. Pile three. I think this is your reading, although I'm rather tempted to draw a couple more cards just to have a sneaky peek in the future. May we, please, beautiful spirit team of pile threes, may we have a sneaky peek into the future. The wheel is turning. Okay, super good. And look at this, the magician. Wow, 
what a confirmation. You can, this has been all about manifesting something you desire in real terms, right? The magician is the card of manifestation. The wheel is turning and you will manifest what you desire. Actually, the key here is actually right here and now, your state of mind and not being in a space of despondency, using any disappointments as a learning curve, shift that perspective and my goodness me, I think the wheel will turn and you will manifest what you desire and potentially fast. I mean, this is a symbol of empowerment. Horses, you know, we measure engines in horsepower, so this is personal empowerment beautiful souls this is your reading keep us pasted in the comments let us know what's happening in your world um if this is resonating with you thank you for being here i i hope it is resonating with you if you found this reading uh, beautiful souls um thank you also for those of you who give back through the super thanks in the comments but beautiful souls stay on track you know, this is manifesting. Um, bring your state of mind back into a place of high vibration with much greater clarity based on what you have let go of or what you've said no to or what didn't work out. Center yourself in the opposite of that, of what you desire with greater clarity, with passion and with desire and trust because the way is being shown. It is being opened for you. You can't go wrong. There is no wrong way, no wrong choice, no wrong way about this. Whatever decisions have had to be made, it was absolutely right to clear the pathway for what you desire to come in and for you to manifest this in your world. Pile three, I'm sending you the biggest hug. And of course, thank you so much, all of you, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and all the stuff you do that supports the channel. Tons of love, pile three.